today is gonna be storytelling day storytelling day because i just thought about this and i'm like oh i know i actually did my one year when i came into ghana and it's gonna be two years on the 23rd of december 2022 and it's been a journey honestly and funny enough i was actually supposed to come earlier two days before like 21st of december but i ended up coming 23rd of december let me quickly share that story with you so yeah if you're used to my channel i've always talked about why i am in ghana because there's this misconception a lot of people just have that every nigerian living in ghana or every nigerian that travels out of every nigerian that travels out of nigeria travel because they want to japa it's not necessarily the case all the time sometimes jobs can actually take people out and so many other things education and all that yeah the larger percentage is actually japa but it's not in all cases because i think it's just sometimes when i started youtube you just come to my channel and say go back to your country and i'm looking like uh, how like i didn't come here because i was running i came here because of work yeah so my husband was posted he came in in october 2020 then as a family because i work in the kids school and all that we didn't come until december so yeah we had our flights booked by you know this um flight um booking agency and all that so i was supposed to come monday 21st was on a monday so yeah we were living in port Harcourt, and I, we got to the airport and you know how flights can be within this period yes and that was why, that's why i don't like using those very very busy airlines the are the airpiece and all that i don't like using we use a very yeah of course dana too right now i think it was dana if, I, if i'm not mistaken then the next thing is this flight was supposed to be 9 a.m 9 a.m flight we left the house at 7 by 7 30 7 40 or so we're already at the airport then the announcement comes that flight has been delayed till afternoon <laughs> now guys because we we're supposed to do port Harcourt to abuja then abuja to ghana because i i used or we had to use run run air run air because because of the number of luggages they could carry it was like an international flight if you're using the normal african world no fps was not even flying that period african world you can only get one luggage that's 23 kg but run air because it's a very big aircraft you get your normal kg times two then you have your normal seven kg luggage so it was me and my kids and we had a lot of things we were carrying yes most of our luggages had already gone ahead of us but you know now some other things in fact i if i when i remember a lot of things that i had to let go of because of my coming to ghana like i, I actually had to let go of a lot of things all my things i just called people to come and carry them like, okay i was gonna be leaving so in fact i didn't even tell a lot of people i was leaving i just said oh just come then the, the morning i was leaving was when I, when I actually told people oh you can come to the house my house is open anything you want to carry go ahead and carry it because they were mine these things were things i had worked for over the years so i just had to let go of all these things and i went came together with just luggages we got to the airport guys and the next thing is we heard that flight has been delayed till evening or afternoon i think 3 p.m or 4 p.m what and my flight from abuja to ghana is by 1 15 p.m in the afternoon first of all my deal of my body just you, you understand that kind of when i use the word scattered everything just what what is going on so guys I was still thinking, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Like, and I cannot go back to the house because I'd left the apartment for people to come and carry everything, the bed, everything, go and carry. So, what am I going to say? So, we now had to book flights because now we were not seeing other flights from Portacot to Abuja. All of them were all evening or fully booked, evening fully booked. So, what did we have to do? And this is December period, guys. You know what December can be. So, we had to do. Port Harcourt to Lagos. There was flight for Port Harcourt to Lagos. Stayed at the airport. Yeah, that's like, okay, let's just stay at the airport. Uh, sorry, stay at the at the hotel. Then we rescheduled our flight for Wednesday because they didn't have flight for Tuesday. Like Rowan here, they have flight for Tuesday, but they had for Wednesday. Are you seeing it? So 
that means we now have to we can't go back to the house so we have to stay in lagos we now took book flight to lagos okay let me see my parents right because my parents live in lagos so we went to lagos to go and stay rowan air didn't have flight the next day they had the um they had wednesday so we're not in lagos we just stayed at the airport uh, sorry we stayed at the hotel very close to the airport then wednesday morning because the flight is still there normal time is 1 15 or 1 30 something like that so on wednesday we now took first flight to abuja then from abuja we came to ghana that was the journey two years ago so that was how i got to ghana ghana i didn't have a lot of stress just to do your covid my children were not involved in the covid thing just me paying when you get your covid test done and you are out of the airport so yes yeah, since then i've been going in and out of nigeria in and out it's just this year i didn't really travel but last year 2021 i think i traveled like three times yes then but this year i've been here i've been here and it's been good one of the things i would say i've learned so far in fact the culture shock if that was what even motivated me to not start my youtube channel because i was like what is this what people actually go through when they are away from family friends everything like you're in the midst of people you don't know i'm even living in a very quiet environment like somewhere that you you don't get to see people walking on the road and all that so it was somehow tough for me when i came in newly then trying to now adjust to a life of staying at home because this is you all your life you walked you've been the number one nine to five person and all of a sudden you know how to start staying at home that was what motivated me to start my youtube channel i just had to start my youtube channel and my youtube channel is a year now and this is where we are this is it so guys it was a, it was a culture shock trust me there are a lot of similarities between go, both countries or so between ghana and nigeria there are a lot of similarities you might, you might easily not even tell in terms of look in terms of a lot of things there are a lot of similarities but there are also some striking differences, you know, in both countries they, because cultures are not the same. Of course, the language thing is there. When I mean both countries, I'm talking about largely the Southwest. Yeah, because the Southwest, that's the Lagos, almost state, all these places have a lot of things in common with Ghana. You know, there are a lot of things in common. So, but I've learned a lot too. I've learned a lot in terms of the, I think the patients, the patients here, people here are calm, very, not everybody still, like I've seen a lot of, on social media, I see a lot of basketballs. Like, you know, the way basketballs happens in Nigeria. In fact, you know that on, me, on media space, because I tend to follow a lot of Ghanaian blogs. When I see a lot of things, it's just, I don't, I don't always understand the comment section because a lot of things are written in their language they write some of them write in pigeon some of them write in english they must add the language to and i don't understand what they are saying so those ones used to come, you know com confuse me but the truth is you see that bass goes they have it here too but when i mean they are calm i'm talking in the aspect of maybe driving their way of life and some other thing but they have a touch of you know now they have that sprinkle of this thing the same way we have it they have it but they are also karma they are not flamboyant like nigerians they call it show off but i tell them no it's not show off this is just we being we nigerians love to, if i've worked for my money allow me to enjoy my money allow me to enjoy myself no that's nigerians for you but a Ghanaian does not really do that you know the way we go all out for you know i remember somebody telling me even your movies the kind of houses you people use is show off i said no that's not show off that's just taste if you don't have taste show it show it was there so is it okay the time we're always showing nollywood movies for example they we're always showing villages and all that now the world has gone beyond that we need to show something different you know because at some point people began to believe that africans are just you know the only thing that in africa is you know juju and all that now that they are beginning to show the other aspect let's appreciate it let's not just say it. this is how it is you know so two years down the line i feel i the language till now i don't understand the language i won't even lie my kids can actually pick certain words they know but me 
I don't know. Because even my husband's language, I don't know. <laughs> After almost 12 years, I don't know. I don't know anything. So, yeah, you guys should not even, don't, don't come for me in that aspect. But trust me, it's been, I've learned a lot. Sometimes I, I'm like, ah, ah, what is going on? Sometimes you are like, sometimes you are frustrated. Sometimes you are, you pick up again and you move. Sometimes it's just been mixed feelings. Let me just put it like that. It's been mixed feelings. And that's it. <laughs> so... I've done a lot of videos, you know, talking about um, most of my experiences. But just that since it's two years, I felt like let me come on camera again to talk about what it's been like. I've met amazing people on this space, on this media space. People I've never met before in my life or they comment on almost all my videos. And the ones that I know, they appreciate you. And I've been to a lot of places because I was just like... Let it not be that you know what it feels like when you say you've been to a country because this is not just visa, this is living, you know. And there should be let it be that you should be able to talk about oh, I've been to this place, I've been to this place, and I know I've done a couple of places, I've not done all, but I've done a lot of places within the, just this year between April and now. I think I visited like a lot, a lot of places. And so when I was when they say okay, have you been to Ghana? I say yeah, I have, and I can tell you a lot about the people. About the people, there yeah, you have all these all the those you know you have the those of the car, you have the those of the gas goes, you have the those of the you have all the different different those. But generally, Ghanaians are karma. But to me, I see even even if they are big. Like Nigeria, yes, we have similar issues too. When I mean similar issues, government, you know, poverty, you know, so many things. We have similar. When I hear Ghanaians talk, I actually hear the same issues we have in Nigeria. They talk about almost similar things. We have this. This person is not doing. I say, well, it's the same thing in my country. Like. Every, lifestyle too in terms in the area of life lifestyle when i hear certain things i still see those traits too so i don't even know if it's an african thing but since this is just yes i've visited some african countries but when i talk about living it's only nigeria and now ghana that i believe all that is just or the one i've been to is just visit so it's not always the same when you say you visited a country, how many weeks, two weeks then you want to tell me everything about the country i don't agree with anything you want to say about that country leave there first because when you visit the country for example now if i was just visiting ghana where am i going to be saying i'm staying in east Lagos. i'm staying in Accra central all those kind of places live with the people pay bills you know pay rent pay bills go to the market retire to people then that is when you will know how a place is i don't know if you guys understand because even if you go to nigeria right now you guys stay in abuja you go to abuja Abuja is good. That is the capital of Nigeria. If you go to Lagos, you stay in Lekki, you now generalize that everything is fine about the place. No. Wait until you go inside. I don't know if you guys understand what I'm saying. So, when you when you want to talk with, to me and you're telling me you only visited a place, I don't, I won't... Anything you want to say is just based on the two weeks you stayed. Me, now, I can tell you things based on the number of years I stayed in a place. So far, so good. It's it's interesting. It's been interesting though. They've been mixed feelings. I won't lie. They've been mixed feelings of different different things. Sometimes it's just like, who is this? I've had terrible experiences. I won't lie. I've had good experiences too. And that is it. Two years. I don't know how many more years I'll stay. I don't even know if I'll stay up to three years. I can't really say for now. But at least at every stage, let it be that um taking the moment doing great things with it, creating content with it, and life is going on fine, beautiful. That's it. Create moments on everything around you and all that. So, guys, what do you think about my two years journey? The two years. So, if you're seeing my video for the first time, please subscribe to my channel. Just subscribe and go 
back and watch a lot of my videos i've created in fact most of my subscribers are actually Ghanaians, and i'm very very grateful to you guys is that you say i'm a Ghanaian. i'm watching from france i'm a Ghanaian. i'm watching from spain i'm based in the u.s i watch your content because i need to know what's go happening back home and all that so thank you all of you thank you to everybody who those of you who have been watching my channel thank you so much i appreciate you guys and that is it for today so thank you so much bye